Hi, uh, my name is Paul. So uh, nice to meet you finally. Uh, basically, all you see is me shooting, right? Uh, but it's gonna be my first time um, have my actual voice recorded, uh, except the 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 sound that uh, a rifle makes, right? Uh, I'm super nervous right now because I haven't been speaking in uh, English for quite a while. Uh, well. Uh, there's a reason for that, but anyway, um, so here I got two versions of GDR15. So I like to uh, clarify some misunderstandings that people still have for uh, GBLS. All the bad reviews that you saw from YouTube back in year 2016 and 2017, basically um, that was V1. Uh, so that's pre-ordered uh, model. Um, there was a lot of uh, improvements needs, uh, needed to be done. Uh, and actually uh, GBLS uh, nailed it. So they have this uh, mass production uh, model uh, they call it um, V2 actually. Uh, I got two versions of V2 though. So the longer one is the early version of the V2. And this this baby here, the CQB1, I just got it in like last two weeks. So this is the newest version of uh, V2. So when it is called GDR15, they are all considered V2 and they are much more reliable and much more uh, accurate. So the rifle I just get in, uh, this version here, out of the box, the accuracy is insane. I own tons of TM, next gens, uh, SCARS, AK, uh, Delta, uh, HK, uh, 416, um, anything you call it, out of the box. Nothing beats GDR15, and actually I got tons of uh, AEG and GBBs to verify that. I even have a video showing that it is so easy to hit a repeat shots um, from 50 meters away to a target only this wide. Okay, so that's better than headshot. Um, the trick is um, not just the 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 hub design. Uh, the trick is to use heavier uh, BB, so treat it like a GBB. So usually uh, with GBBR, you're looking at using 0.3 or even 0.36 or like, like for this one, I'm using 0.4 or more or heavier BBs. Um, it is good for a long uh, range accuracy, especially when it flies past 40 meters. Uh, you want the grouping to be tight and also uh, when there is wind, you don't want the wind to affect your uh, trajectories too much. Okay, so back to G GDR15. Uh, the difference between these two, uh, as you can see, is it's the boat. The color of the boat and actually the design of the top of the boat, uh, where where you cannot see it right now. Um, for for the V1, uh, you cannot just drop in a, a, a real steel uh, or real steel spec uh, charging handle. Um, I learned that a hard way. So, <laughs> okay, for uh, no, actually I was wrong. This is still V2 is already version. Okay. So the latest version, uh, the real steel uh, charging handle is uh, direct drop-in. Uh, it works flawlessly uh, with the uh, newest uh, uh, BCG. And also the color is different. I love the color. And I even put two dots here, just make it more realistic. And another difference is here. 
the selector the early version is quite traditional and this one you do have some serrations tactic cool hey okay okay so uh, the reason uh, I'm using GDR15 is because it is, it, it just simply beats a PTW, to be honest. Uh, the price is comparable, and you don't have to do much about uh, internals. Uh, especially for a newest model, I think out of the box is just superb, really good. Um, for the new one, uh, for the uh, uh, earlier uh, version, I do have to do a lot of a tweaking to get the best um, uh, of uh, accuracy and re reliability. Uh, I'm not saying the gear uh, can um, be broken like very easily. No, actually, on the contrary, um, the gun is super uh, torqued. I put in a real steel uh, buffer spring, and I also put in at the same time. I also put in a power spring which is M50 to M60. And I'm still using 11.1 um, um, LiPo. And GDR15 just take it like nothing. So it's not about uh, any um, performance in terms of like uh, gears or uh, reliability. Uh, what I'm saying is, uh, for an earlier version, you do have a problems of uh, cracking BBs. Um, the problem is, it is just like early uh, GBB. Um, the 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 slanting back action of the BCG is too powerful, and sometimes, uh, especially when you are doing burst or full auto, um, you once the BB got jammed, then pretty much is done, okay? And also, uh, even you have a little bit of a scratch on a BB, that will affect the, the accuracy, right? So that makes sense. But for the V2, they fix a lot. So it's hard for you to see, but the chamber of V2 It will move a bit along with the movement of the uh, BCG. So just a bit, uh, which is good enough to be a perfect cushion to ensure every BB is properly uh, chambered. So for, for a, a newest version, in terms of uh, accuracy, uh, right now I have fired over 3,000 rounds no single problem at all it's just laser beam like it's just you point and it, it just hit um, so I will highly just su uh, suggest to use non-bio if that's an option for you um, and also heavier BB uh, when I say heavier uh, I'm saying maybe 0.36 or, or heavier okay uh, my GDR15 is different than uh, any uh, stock GDR15 because I have done some uh, easy recoil mark, uh, uh, recoil mass. So I'm using A2 real steel A2 uh, buffer tube um, for some weird uh, regulation. The Korean-made rifle cannot provide. Um, real steel spec lower receiver a thread for the buffer tube so I do have to send it down a bit and just to have a perfect uh, fit for the real steel spec uh, buffer tube and inside the buffer tube I'm putting in a uh, um, real steel uh, very stiff uh, buffer spring and a homemade uh, super heavy extra weight um, buffer. Uh, the reason I was doing this because out of the box, when you are shooting in uh, semi-auto, uh, the, the recoil is not impressive. It's even worse than KWA ERG, to be honest. 
you, you feel the shakes, you don't feel the kicks. Um, so that's why I was working on uh, to make the recoil more uh, pronounced and uh, snappier. So what I find is easy. Uh, GDR15 is a perfect uh, mixture of uh, three systems for airsoft. The first one is uh, air cocking sniper rifle, just like uh, TM VSR10. So um, the whole BCG basically uh, is a miniature uh, representation of the how the uh, air cocking uh, sniper rifle works. You have the uh, real sear, you have the uh, realistic uh, trigger break, and once you pull the trigger, uh, that will drop the sear, and then the piston inside the BCG uh, will be pushed forward, released forward, and then uh, release the power of the uh, compressed air, and then push the BB away, right? Uh, so that's the, the, the first of the three systems. The other two is AG. So all you have to do is just put in a lipo and that's it. Uh, you don't need gas. There's no cool down. Uh, there's no, actually it's pretty low maintenance to be honest compared to any GBBR. Okay, the last one is what is similar to a, a GBB uh, system. So the lower um, receiver, you still have the gearbox, just like uh, normal uh, AEGs, but the buffer queue is just like 100% GBBR. You get to use um, real steel spec or GBB spec, uh, buffer spring and buffer. Um, so any way that you can use to change uh, the recoil, the felt recoil for GBBR, probably you can use it. Um, yeah, so for, for this guy here, I have heavily modded for uh, maximum uh, recoil. Uh, for this little guy here, what I did is just put in a 300% uh, GBB um, buffer spring. So that's stiffer, but not as stiffer as a real steel uh, buffer spring. And also I also drop in a, a steel buffer uh, made by Angry Gun. Uh, for TM NWS uh, GBBR uh, out of the box with the easy mask the recoil actually is really really good okay I'll show you oh, for GTR 15 and with the uh, um, recoil mod I'm not joking you have to use real steel uh, scope or red dot I want you already Yeah, I know. I'm not aiming at anything. I'm just aiming at the uh, pillow. Okay. So Let's take a look at this. The other downside of um, uh, putting a, a stiffer buffer spring is it's really hard. I mean, I'm not skinny to be honest, even for, for Chinese, right? So it is hard to just pull the charger handle one handed. I have to use both hands. But there is a easy fix for that. Even you don't fix it, or you don't choose the method uh, that I'm going to teach you, uh, you only have to do this once a day before the game, right? Because right after that, every shot, you already have the power spring uh, compressed here by and, and locked by the sear. So when you empty a magazine, it will lock back, and then all you have to do is put a new mag in and then just release the bolt. And you can do that repeatedly for, I don't know, dozens of uh, max so all you have to do is to charge that with both hands just once but still that's not perfect 
So I will show you how I um, fix that. Let's see the recoil of this one. So, I'm going to show you two ways uh, to store the or put away the GDR15 for days um, properly. What I mean by that is, even now the BCG is in the right uh, battery position, it is forwarded, right? Um, but you still have sear. Uh, locking the uh, piston uh, back here so definitely you want to release that I believe uh, everyone uh, has a sprinter or uh, have an experience with AEG knows how to uh, release the, uh, the the spring but not for G GDR15 what you have to do is to disconnect the battery first and Usually, you still have one uh, BB in the chamber, right? So make sure uh, you notice that and make sure you manage your muzzle right. Don't point it at uh, anyone or anything that you don't want to uh, destroy. It. So just release it and that's it. And that release the piston. But we are not done yet. This is the proper way to do it. So, this guy here, this guy here, you do have to re release it. If you are planning to store this away for weeks, because if you don't do that, you, you are gonna still have uh, some tension on that uh, spring and that will cause some trouble uh, the guns may uh, go a full auto or uh, you will be acting weird okay so that's the right way to do that so that's the first way that we should do uh, I have another shortcut uh, within half second and basically you can do everything release all the spring you wanted so this one, remember, I just fired it, so that means you still have everything, all the uh, spring with tension and cocked, right? So right now I'm about to release both the piston spring and also the trigger uh, spring. How do I do it? I learned that from the Japanese fellow that I found his uh, YouTube, uh, you can find that uh, in the description. Just pull the pin out, and that's it. And that's it. And to be honest, you don't even have to disconnect the battery to do so. But I would suggest to remove the battery because this this one got a built-in uh, MOSFET, and I'm not sure if the draining of the battery is a good idea. Uh, okay. So I believe that covers everything. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm so nervous right now, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, doing this by any uh, script, so there, there, there's no playbooks for me. So probably I'll be uh, here and there, and you guys will be missed uh, at some point. I'm sorry about that. But uh, thanks for, for uh, watching. Uh, next time I'll, be, I'll do much better, promise. Hi, right. sorry, I uh, forgot to teach you um, the lazy way not to uh, pull the charging handle uh, both handed if you used a real steel um, buffer spring or stiffer uh, buffer spring because you have to remember uh, the
the action of putting the charging handle for GDR15, that means you are putting back the uh, buffer uh, spring plus the power spring inside the BCG. So imagine, uh, for even for Chinese, I'm not super skinny. So yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm quite strong actually. Okay, so this one already uh, cocked, so that doesn't come. Uh, I'll show you. So I'll show you again. So just pull this out, and that's it. With this, both the um, power spring uh, that was locked to the rear by the sear, and also you uh, release the, the trigger spring. So right now, the gun is ready uh, to be put away for months, and you'll be good. And don't forget to disconnect the LiPo tube because uh, this gun does have a built-in uh, MOSFET, and it, it will not be a good idea um, keep draining uh, the 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 uh, juice out of uh, your lipo, right? So just pretend I already disconnected the battery, and I have put a fresh, uh, fully charged uh, lipo back again. So remember, everything is released. All the springs is released. Uh, the right way to do that is to charge, to 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 fire the first round is to charge the charging handle again uh i cannot do that one-handed right remember so what should i do same i pull the trigger that's it the system will do it for you so yeah